what up doke hunters we are back for another round of burst mode this time for the super saiyan 4 limit breaker goku vegeta doke event the stamina cost has been cut in half which means you can do more runs of these if you are trying to score on higher and higher so how burst mode basically works is that it is a difficulty modifier for any random event you can turn any mundane event into a cosmic level threat and that is exactly what we're going to be doing but we're only going to do so to clear the missions we have to clear the missions by getting six thousand points in order to do that you have to click the appropriate modifiers that fit your needs to hit the 6000 point mark and that's exactly what I've done here so if you guys would like to copy what I've done feel free you don't have to do it this way there are more than one way to do this I'm going to do this video with Dragon Ball Heroes characters I may or may not do a crossover video later on I don't think it's ultimately worth it since Dragon Ball Heroes are basically in the crossover anyway so yeah we're just going to we're just going to do this one for now this is my setup I'm using int and physical 350 team cost these are all the modifiers that I've set. I have eliminated all damage reduction. I have tried to reduce the attack as much as possible. Defense is at 250%. HP is at 900%. If you don't do more than 100,000 damage, it just automatically gets dropped down to zero. This is the interesting twist, though. Receive 3% of max HP as damage per type key sphere of the type effective against the character obtained. So basically, if you're an AGL unit and you pick up like five tech key spheres it's gonna hurt you so you got to think about that key minus three and no items and no support memory so that is my setup this is my team so I've got a uh I got a bunch of support units I'm hoping that the supports plus with the max links we should be able to get through this uh pretty well although I could stand to give a little bit more support just to kind of offset the key minus three thing so actually what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the cumber I'm gonna bring in the poutine poutine gives us extra key so poutine uh demigra freaky toa all gives key i could switch one more unit now nah, i think this is enough we're gonna have both roses kind of do the heavy lifting and then everybody else is just gonna be kind of doing damage control so this is my team team cost overall is actually 260 which is kind of crazy because the team cost for this rose is 40. so i am way under budget i could give myself a little bit more but i'm not gonna i think this could do it let's try this out I have minimized the defense I've minimized the damage reduction well not to minimize the defense I minimize the damage reduction I minimize the attack so this shouldn't be that bad I don't think I could be very wrong about this so this is my first ever attempt on this also this is being done after like 10 or 11 videos so I am very much burnt out right now so I there is even a good chance I could lose consciousness in the middle of this video <laughs> and uh that happens you probably won't even see this video so why am i mentioning it all right so i've got rose on this first turn i got rose on the second turn so that's awesome i'm gonna make sure to target the non-gokus because having gokus around gives me more strength i'm gonna save him for last so let's have the rose target vegeta then we'll have demigra makyuka target vegeta and i mean as you can see we're barely feeling the the effects of the the minus key three right this unit has nine key already so I think we're gonna be fine but this is the first round this event is I believe four rounds yeah the first round is physical and int Xeno Goku Vegeta then it's STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku AGL Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta then it's AGL Super Saiyan 4 Goku Limit Breaker then it's tech and it's tech Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegeta and then the final stage is int Goku and physical Vegeta both limit breaker super saiyan 4. We're, are we fighting on the Spongebob's we're, we're fighting in bikini bottom again yeah we are look at the background this is straight up bikini bottom all right so Vegeta's dead after one full rotation Vegeta is after one full rotation we got to Vegeta being dead I don't know if I like that okay Rose going first I'm gonna keep Freaky Toa on rotation Freaky Toa is really good okay 5.1 million attack stat my unit is now rainbow and max links I already did my 55 percent level one link showcase so I decided to give my units the juice and they are all maxed out now okay 2.7 mil all right we got a couple stacks in there very good I think ultimately the key to do this with insane modifiers is to have the rosé if the rosés can just constantly stack over and over and over and then ultimately when they transform that guaranteed guard that's the best way to make them the most effective but you want to stack as much as possible early all right so let's 
have my rosé stack again. And then... Uh... Who gives me more? This guy gives me more. All right, I'll keep Demigra here. Dark Mask King is here for some healing to kind of regulate us because we're not going to have much healing. We've got the Rainbow Orb pickup for Robel. We've got the one-time heal from Freaky Toa. And then after that, it's pretty much just Dark Mask King. Now, you might be able to notice that I am probably going to be doing a heck of a lot more crits on these enemies. And that's because I did give my unit a bunch of Power of Wishes skill orbs because I had been doing the Power of Wishes skill orb event back when it was around during the eight year anniversary. So my Rosé has drastically benefited from it. So I've got level four plus attack. I've got additional and critical and I've got additional and critical. So I've got 14 additional, eight crit and 15 dodge. Pretty good build, pretty good build. All right, so let's do, uh oh. That is a lot of no-no. I don't know if I like that. Okay. I'm going to put Freaky Toa in slot one, and I am going to go after Vegeta so that Vegeta doesn't kill my Rosé, I guess. Let's do that. And we got no synergy this turn because of the no links. We are in deep doo-doo. All oh, right. I picked up the wrong. Okay, so you kind of saw what happened there. I picked up STR Keyspheres for my physical unit. I completely forgot. It hurt me, but at the same time, I healed from the Rainbow Keysphere pickup, so that's why it barely did anything. So I got very lucky there. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about that. Yes, we dodged everything. Thank you. Max Dodge Freaky Toa is so good. Come on, give me one more super, please. Come on, man. All right, so far, so good. And now we ascend. So no more stacking. So this is where the critical is going to play a major role. It's going to play a critical role. <laughs> because now that we can't stack anymore, we're just going to be relying on the temporary stats. But we do have guaranteed guard and we have 15% heal. So that also keeps us regulated. I guess I didn't need the Dark Mask King after all. Yeah, this is a solid, solid rotation right here. So let's do this. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do this. I, uh oh. Uh oh. Can this unit be sealed? Yes. I'm going to go after. I'm going to go after this guy. Nine point eight million attack stat. There we go. There we go. We are battling for bikini bottom supremacy. Uh oh. Oh, he can stun. Oh, good to know. Oh, wait. She doesn't seal, does she? Whatever. I'm tired, guys. I am tired. I'm pooped. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put Freaky Toa in slot one because she still needs to stack. I think she dodges one more time and she will stack once more. Okay, let's have her go first. And I'm also... Oh, my gosh. I forgot. Oh, jeez. Picked up the... Oh, I can't remember that. Who remembers that? Oh, my gosh. I took damage again. Picked up the wrong type. That's a... I, I do like that, though. To be fair, I think that's a really cool new thing to... It's a new twist on Dokkan. You just... No, you got to really be paying attention. Makes dummies like me pay the price. Come on, launch one more super. Or not. This is only round two. There's a round three, and there's a round four. And if this is how tanky they're going to be here, yeah, we are going to be at this for a while. All right, so let's do this. This doesn't hurt us. 
Although, no, I'm going to keep this guy around. Yeah, let's do that. And then let's do this. I have a feeling I'm going to be at this for about 30 minutes. At least. I need those crits, though. Come on. Nothing. Dodge, 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 dodge. Nice. Okay, make sure, pay attention. Don't pick up the wrong type. She's int. Don't pick up tech. No, wait. Don't pick up physical. Okay, pick up... Pick up this. She's physical. Don't pick up STR. Let's pick up these. Nice. All right, so this is the first round of the Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breakers. There's two rounds of this. This round, we don't have type advantage. I think I'm going to keep Dark Mask King around. I think we're going to need a little bit more in terms of healing. Okay, so I'm going to do this, and I'm going to attack him. Then I'm going to attack Vegeta. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack Vegeta. And then we will attack Vegeta again. Uh-oh. No Dokkan attack. It's gonna be next turn that we do it. And we survive until then. The dodge. I would have liked to know how much damage that would have been, but I'm fine with not knowing because thank you, dodge. All right. Okay. All right. So a Dokkan attack is definitely happening here. So let's make sure to target the right unit. I am going to target Son Goku. I'm going to do this. Okay, then I'm going to have Freaky Toa go after Vegeta if he's somehow still alive. And then we will pick up this and attack Vegeta. The longer Goku is around, the better. Time to, Time get, to get serious. Oh my gosh, I can't see. My eyes are so blurry right now. Gonna go all out. Twelve million. Twelve point four million. Didn't get a crit, but we killed Vegeta. I think the key to making this go faster is to just try to book it for another Dokkan attack. It does it is gonna take twice as long to reach it, but I think that's probably what it's going to take to get through this final round coming up. But man, these support units are really coming through. Again, my units are Max Link's Rainbow, so not everybody's going to have this. I do understand that. So let's do this. And let's do this. And let's do this. And we are on our way. Thank you, Rosé. This is now, this is the redemption arc for Rosé in this, in this showcase. This is a preview to the Rainbow Max Link Showcase. Okay, so we have full type advantage here. Only thing is Vegeta is the problem. Ooh, Vegeta is scary. All right, so let's have 
let's let's just go after Vegeta. Let's do that. And then let's do. And I guess yeah, let's just go after Vegeta. Really hope we can dodge some of this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Double digits. Good. Good. Double digits. Very good. Very good. No supers though. That is concerning. Give me crits and additionals. 3.3. I need more. All right. Three supers. Very nice. Actually, I haven't checked what the friend unit Rosé is built for. I'm guessing additional, though, since you got three supers there. All right. We did nothing. Oh, oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, my God. That animation lasted for so long. I wasn't sure where we were going with that. Oh, thank you, Toa. Oh, I love you. Oh, we're still doing good, though. We're still doing good. All right. Let me take a look at the friend Rosé. No dodge at all. Max additional balance crit. Yeah. This this uh, this Rosé user just wants to have fun, which I understand. All right. So we're going to be getting hit with a Vegeta super attack in slot one. So I'm going to have... I'm going to have the Rosé take that. Then Vegeta, Dark Mask King, can attack Son Goku. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll attack him with this. And then we'll have Roberi attack. No, we'll have him attack Vegeta. Oh my gosh, right. Again. She's the only care. Okay, she's the only unit where I could get away with that. And twice I've done it without realizing. I completely forgot again. Come on, launch crits, launch crits. Come on. Dang it. This might actually hurt. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, nice. Double super. Yeah, because we lowered the enemy's attack, this is fine. So if you are trying to go for a higher score, I think what you can do, as long as you keep the attack to a minimum, you could up the defense, the damage reduction and everything. It'll take forever. It will take you a very, very long time, but you will get the job done. You will eventually win. Yeah, let's just let's take out Vegeta. Vegeta is the problem. He dies here. Keep in mind, my units are rainbowed max links. Your units don't have to be rainbowed or max links because with minimized attack power, you can still tank these. And I mean, I haven't even hit the point where the, the healing has to offset the damage coming in. We're just overshooting. We're overkilling. We're overwinning. So if you have like 79% or 55%, you'll probably feel the damage more, but then the heals and the synergy will offset that. Should offset, I should say. All right, Vegeta's gone. All that's left is this Bozo. This is going to be easy, so... Let's end this. Not this turn, but next turn, probably. And what's awesome about this run is not only do we clear these missions, 6,000 and Dragon Ball Heroes, we also clear crossover as well. Normally, you would have to do the other category separately, but this time, everybody in here is part of the crossover category. So we actually clear all missions at the same time. So you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to do another video. I don't need to. I don't need to. All right. There we go. Super Saiyan 4 full power taken care of.
We get double medals? Did I notice that? Pretty sure we did. Oh yeah, because right, both both characters. So yeah, we got 6,020 score. So again, you don't need to do the 6,020 score if you don't care about burst coins or burst coin silver. But just know you can earn up to nine dragon stones from doing all of this. And uh oh wait. Select burst mode condition only crossover. Oh, okay. So I do have to select that and attempt it. So I can do that on my own time. Um, just select crossover and then do it again. And then you'll be fine. It literally with the same exact team, it works. And you don't even have to hit 6,000 for that one. You can do whatever you want. Like here, this is what we would do. I would simply just do this. My score drops. I just run through it again. I'm going to get 5,000 points. It won't count because my high score has already been established and I'm done. So I wish you all the best of luck. You don't need them to be rainbowed or max links, but they will definitely help. If you don't, as long as you've got some good synergy, then you will be just fine. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments how you did on this burst mode event. Who was your team? What, what setup did you do? What typings did you bring? Who was your MVP? Let me know your results in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let each know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it! Thanks again. Stay tuned and remember to Dokkan responsibly.